Hey guys, and welcome back to Atui Chakri. My name is Chad Chad. And I believe in aliens. I never decided that. There was never a specific moment where I was like, you know what? I do believe in aliens. I do, I do. Because I've always just assumed that, you know, in the endless universe, there are probably other places that can also support life. Like there are a lot of ants in the world, but each ant probably thinks that their ant hell is the only ant hell in the world, but that's only because they haven't invented space travel yet. Yet. I've never met anyone who claimed to be abducted by aliens or who claims to have had some kind of extraterrestrial encounter. But I like to think that I'm an open-minded person and that I would hear them out, which is why today we're talking about Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato is a pretty well-known singer and was in a lot of Disney movies slash TV shows. You've probably heard of them before, so I'm not gonna dive too deep into their history. But there was a certain clip that caught my attention the other day. So I woke up in my room and there was like three beings. And then, and they, <laughs> they no. were like, do you want to see your planet? And I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You were like, hell I yeah. I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> let's go. This is a pretty short clip, so I wanted to get the full context of what's happening here. Demi has a new show called Unidentified that's streaming on Peacock. TV. We'll get into that later. So the reason for this interview is that Demi is promoting their new show and this conversation takes place after Kelly shows a clip previewing it. <laughs> well, wait, in that clip we just saw we just saw you looking for aliens. So have you yeah. seen an alien? Have you ever had an experience? I have never seen a an ET face to face. Oh, that's something else I should mention. Demi doesn't believe that we should call aliens aliens. They say that that is offensive to aliens. Sorry, aliens. Sorry, aliens. <laughs> Sorry. Demi Lovato has said referring to extraterrestrials as aliens is derogatory and the word should no longer be used for potential otherworldly visitors. Speaking to E! e News, Lovato explained their reasoning while responding to span, to, to fan, to span, sorry, fan, sorry, span, while responding to fan speculation that they have an unreleased song called Aliens, quashing the rumor. That's a weird word. It sounds like you're getting phlegm out of your throat. Quashing the rumor. The singer said their fans should know they don't call them aliens because it is a derogatory term for anything. My fans should know that I do not call them aliens because alien is a derogatory term for anything. Oh, that's so true. Even extraterrestrials which is why I call them ET which I guess I kind of get what they're trying to say here but at the same time I feel like this would be very very low on an ET's list of concerns if they were to encounter our planet our government would definitely take it into custody and definitely perform less than humane tests on it so it probably wouldn't be too worried about what word we were using to refer to it with I will now use this circular saw to enter your brain cavity I would prefer if you did it then I will study your alien brain to discover all of your secrets I don't have any Excuse me, what did you call me? I'd say this is a case of let's cross that bridge when we get there, but the bridge isn't even built yet. The bridge isn't even under construction. The bridge is still in its in the daddy bridge's ball sack. Okay, we don't need to be worried about this yet. Yeah. Um, I had a, a night where I was dreaming, and I say dreaming very loosely because I don't really know what happened. So see, this is why I wanted to watch the full clip because the TikTok that the Kelly Clarkson show posted, which got 3.2 million views, mind you, doesn't include the part where they say that this is dreaming, I think is what they're saying this was. So that kind of seems irresponsible to just post this without that context because the comments are absolutely roasting the shit out of Demi, saying that they're on drugs, saying that they've completely lost their mind. I don't know if it was intentional or unconscious, but if I was Demi and the show that I did an interview for clipped something in a way that made me seem crazy, I would probably have a heart attack. <laughs> but I all of a sudden was in my room and and I know I said, I, I, so I, I, I sound, I sound like <laughs> this is gonna sound so out there, but just bear with me. So I woke up in my room. They even cut out the part where Demi acknowledges how strange this sounds. Who is running this TikTok account? Joe Jonas? <laughs> Joe, is that you? Yeah. So I woke up in my room and there was like three beings. Us to the three beings. Okay, corporations, you need to stop, all right? We get it. You're hip with the young whippersnappers. You know what this means. I actually think the only time I ever see this used anymore is by corporate accounts. So now it's getting kind of like corporate Twitter, trying desperately to seem relatable. That moment when your mom says no more video games. When your mom buys our chips that inflame your stomach lining. Bernard, you are 98 years old. Please retire. I'll stop working when I'm dead. Your left eye fell out again. Yeah. Are you gonna go home now? F you. Do you wanna see your planet? And I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You were like, hell yeah. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. 
why did the ETs visit you just to show you your own planet? They traveled millions and trillions of miles just to show you that. They'd ask if I wanted to see my own planet and I'd be like, oh no, that's okay, I live here. I live here. I like whooshed out of my room and was like hovering over the planet and then all of a sudden they were like, you wanna see our planet? And I was like, hell yeah. 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 So, yeah. Then I whooshed to this like pink and purple planet that I've never seen, but. Okay, so I Googled pink and purple planets after this just because I wanted to see if one actually exists and it does. This one is called GJ. 504B, which is crazy because that's my brother's name too. It's 57 light years from Earth, is about the same size as Jupiter, and it's a gas planet. I doubt this was the home of the ETs that visited Demi just because it's literally made up of poisonous gas. I don't know, maybe they can survive the environment because they're also made of gas, <laughs> like my brother. That's basically the end of the interesting part of this interview, but I wanted to check out the show if I could. It came out the end of September. I had this crazy experience that happened to me in Joshua Tree. Jesus Christ, why is the like ratio so bad? Can someone tell me what I'm missing? I don't re remember. Like, why is Demi so disliked? I don't, did they do something? Demi Lovato has apologized after starting a public feud with the Big Chill, a frozen yogurt shop in Los Angeles. Oh. It was the Froyo. It was this bright light. It kind of moved in like these weird ways that a plane wouldn't move. I hate to be this person, but this doesn't look real. See how the stars keep moving after the camera stops moving? It just looks strange. Anyway, I'm sorry. I said I was gonna try and have an open mind and I'm just, I've been shitting on everything in this video. My goal is to find out what really happened. <gasps> that looks like a gnat. That looks like a bird. What if extraterrestrials aren't traveling light years to visit us? What if they're already here waiting for us to reach out? So, like a ghost? Is that a spirit box? Don't you use that to try and talk to ghosts? So it kind of just looks like they're gonna be doing a lot of stargazing and yoga? No, sorry, that's a singing bowl. Still don't see how that applies, really. It really looks like a ghost hunting show, but they just throw the word UFO in there every few minutes. UFO experiencer. Demi Lovato serenades extraterrestrial entities, as you do. Carmen? We just got here. Again, this seems like a ghost hunting contraption. Paranormal investigator, right there. So I guess we're just lumping ETs and ghosts together. I feel like those are vastly different categories. Like the concept of an alien show is interesting because I've never really seen that before, but this just looks and feels exactly like a ghost hunting show and about 3.8 million of those already exist. They're like cop shows. I watched one episode of NCIS in 2013 and now I never have to watch one ever again. Have you seen anything like ETs here or UFOs, star people. So I guess we're asking the ghosts if they've seen aliens because the aliens, sorry, ETs, wouldn't be able to see them. So ghosts are like makeshift ring cameras in this situation. From what I've seen, ghosts haven't been very open with us, like about what the afterlife is like or what they do in their ghostly spare time. So I just don't know if this is when they would decide to open up to us. What's your name? Were you murdered? Are you in this room with us right now? Have you seen aliens? Dude, yes. Okay, I was in the bathroom taking a ghost shit, right? Ask her if they're here, if there are star people here right now. Are there star people here right now? They probably explain this in the full episode, but I'm trying to figure out what kind of equipment this is. This article just ominously calls it the radio, but it looks like it might be some kind of proximity detector based off of my extensive research on Google images, which would mean that every time this goes off, it's just because the ghost is stepping closer to them and then stepping back. Are there any star people here right now? Are you a star people? Carmen, are you a star person? Maybe it's because we're in the room. Because, you know, they don't like men. She doesn't like men, and I get it. Do you want us to maybe do a little experiment and step in another room while you take over? What do you mean? Y'all have been here this whole time, and she's been talking just fine. Did you not want to say anything else because the boys were in here? 
The ghost is not saying yes. She's saying, okay, I can I can clearly see them right there. They just turned around the corner. I may be a ghost, but I'm not fucking blind. Okay. She has trauma. She does? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you and know? And that's why she doesn't like men. Okay, okay. I respect that. I respect yeah. that. Totally. What are these reactions? Can you imagine like going on a third date with someone and you open up about your trauma and they're like, okay, I respect that. I respect that. I do. Are you gonna pick up the check? I mean, I'm so sorry about that. That, I mean, that sucks, dude, but I don't get paid until Friday. Maybe okay. if you sang that, sing a song as an offering, we, we could come back in the room. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, if I sing you a song, can my friends come back in the room? Okay, now y'all are just making up rules as you go. This is like trying to watch third graders play a game of tag. There you go. What the fuck is that? Is that a knife? Call the police, we're witnessing assault. Demi proceeds to sing Skyscraper to an extraterrestrial ghost. They didn't really specify. And then bam, there's actually what appears to be another man in the doorway over there. So the singing transaction they just did is null and void. I personally would not watch this show based on the preview and the clips that I've seen. I would rate it a ghost shit out of 10. It seems very over-exaggerated and um, kind of cliche. I guess the audience would be Demi fans. I don't really know who else it would appeal to. If you're wondering why there's no green screen edits in this video, it's because I ordered a new one because my current one is ass. I'm really trying to exert the least amount of energy possible into filming, kind of like the producers of this show. I'm gonna call it there, guys. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on hey. my video out of all the videos that are on here. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.